Oh hi humans and fur babies. Welcome to my bathroom. Just sitting on the toot. Uh, yeah, sitting on the toilet. Actually, we're in here for a specific reason. So, um, I renovated my bathroom about four years ago now. When I moved in, the bathroom was all sorts of not very attractive. And uh, to try and lift the unattractiveness of it, I decided a pop of lime green would be nice. I bought these towels that had a nice green in it and a bit of a coral. So this was sort of my colour palette for the bathroom. It was very dated. It hadn't been renovated since it was built. So I picked up this laundry basket that had the lime green in it. Now, clearly I no longer have that bathroom and this has seen much better days. It's all falling apart. Uh, it smells. It's time to replace this. So, my friend Mark, he took out the Venetian blinds in his bedroom and replaced it with curtains and he gave me all the Venetian blinds. So what I'm going to try and do is weave the Venetian blinds together and make a woven laundry hamper. So um, that's what we're going to do today. Uh, so stay tuned because uh, we're going to make some cool shit. So my friend Daniel owns this business called Bali Best Buy and he makes furniture. He also makes flat pack houses that he sends off to India and stuff like that. He's a pretty good guy. He's made quite a lot of stuff in my house. Made these bedside boxes. Made this desk. Made this big table into a small table. Made me this table with the flop down sides. Had these wood inlay boxes made for me. I got him to cut me all the pieces. Um, so this is my design. It's very beautiful. It's literally a box with a lid. So I got him to cut all of the framey bits and all the inny bits are the Venetians where they're going to be woven. So what I'm going to do is start making all these frames and glue them all together so then I've got all of those done and then I'm going to start weaving the Venetians. So here's all my wood cutty bits. That's the side. 60 by 60. And this is the front. 60 by 35. And then this is the lid. So yeah, I'm going to join all these together and make them all solid frames and then I'm going to start weaving them all and put them all together once that's done. What's wrong? What are you squeaking about? What are you squeaking for? Hmm, disinterested. What about you? What do you think? Well said. So my plan was to buy a nail gun because I often am doing projects and I'm like, oh, it's really anyway, so I went to find a nail gun, I found a nail gun, but then I couldn't find the compressor to go with it. I went to about four different shops. Most of the compressors were for, were for like jackhammers. I literally needed like a half horsepower and they had like four horsepower. So, that one to the higher one, but the longest nails I've had for 17 nails are like 5 centimeters nails. Because I just want to use Bruce's project because it's really going to be hate on them and I have to like, put hands into the head so that the girl with Cardi Angus is like, I don't want to do it, I'll crack this project. You need to cut the b****. We do. Okay, just cut the b****. Okay. So here's all my frames. Put some non-glossy varnish on them. And I put in my screws. I didn't want to do putty and stuff, so I've got some nice black screws. And now here's the Venetians that I've washed. The long ones and the short ones and then I'm going to start weaving it. So weaving the Venetians wasn't hard, it just was a bit of a slow process because um, they're quite tight to weave and they're not very flexible. I did think about wetting them to make them a little bit more flexible but then I was worried that when they dried they'd shrink and then they'd crack so I just persevered and once I kind of had enough in there to fill the space. That's when I started spacing them a little bit better and measuring so the gaps were even. So I started with like the side first. So then once I had all of the side positioning correct, then I could work out the spacing all around. So then all of the uh, 
horizontals and verticals lined up so it wasn't this hodgepodge. So yeah, it wasn't hard, just took a bit of time. So I just listened to a podcast and, you know, really got into the zone. I can't back you up. I can't be there for you if I can't trust you. Okay, just cut the b okay. So I needed to use little screws to attach these because nails were going to crack them. So I had to screw in itty bitty screws. Like I think they're maybe like seven millimeters deep or something. Um, and so I have this rip off Dremel tool, which I'm absolutely loving at the moment. And so I, I drilled the holes and then I screwed in the bits, but I also had to make sure that there was enough space around the Venetians. So when the sides were connected, uh, they, the wood was on wood and not the Venetians weren't buckling. So I had to go back through and cut off little bits with my X-Acto knife and also my rip off Dremel. Last process is to join all the sides together. So I got out my clamps and I actually glued it and drilled it. You know, I mean, it's a box with a lid. It's not brain surgery. Um, so yeah, just clamped it, drilled a hole and put a screw in it. The end. Lastly, I spray painted all of the hardware black to match the black screws and put it all together. And here's the finished laundry basket. Isn't it gorgeous? So the lid opens and closes and it fits into the space perfectly because I measured it correctly. Um, I remember I made that. Yeah, I made that. I made them too, but I lost the footage so I couldn't show you a video, yeah. Anyway, back to this, that's the laundry basket. And see how the vertical lines and the horizontal lines of the basket all line up on all the sides? That's close-up detail of the Venetians and my fantastic craftsmanship and just shows you how well it holds clothes. Okay, bye laundry basket. Bye. See ya. Bye. Bye. My next Venetian blind project is my, this is my planner box from my last video. If you haven't watched it, go and watch it yet. It's bloody fantastic. Uh, my tomatoes are going pretty well, they're drying a little bit, it's a bit hot, but that's not the point. point is, it's just getting too tall, so what I want to do is make like a trellis and put the slats across here so I can train the tomato to go along the trellis. Now I'm going to use the Venetians to make the trellis. And these wooden bits here are the top and the bottom of the blind. And you know, these slats are in the middle and the string goes through the hole. So these are a bit thicker. And they're gonna go here. So that's what I'm gonna do now. These slats already have these holes where the string was going through. So I'm gonna use those holes. Oh, I can't fuck to what I damn it. Damn it, Janet. Damn it, Janet. All right, we've got to drill holes in. Shit. See, it's all fun and games here. Janet. I did end up adding another pole here to make it more stable because it was a bit flimsy. So now I'm going to space these five centers all the way to the top. Let me take this opportunity to remind you to please subscribe to my channel and please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and leave a comment telling me how much you got out of it and what else you might like to see from my channel. Last two screws dead in the fucker. And also head on over to Inside the Round on Instagram to check out pics of today's project. Okay, that looks pretty good. Pretty happy with that. Do you think? It's totes legit. Alright, see ya. Wait. I did do one more thing with the Venetian blinds. I made this box frame around this artwork. So I'm working on this little series of replicating famous artworks using junk. So this is The Son of the Man by Rene Magritte or in French Le Fils de l'Homme. Yeah, what she said. Uh, let me know if you're interested in seeing me do this series. This is just a little project that I'm working on, but if you want me to show you how I do some of these, I can do a video about it, but yeah, I made this little box frame 
just to finish it off using the Venetians. Wow.